Contestants, messy games, the fun car Grand Prix race, and a crazy chase to win lots of prizes. Now here's the guy that puts the fun in Funhouse, Pat Sharp. <laughs> Woo! What a start, eh? Goodness me, the Funhouse is here. Let me get this on its stand, and we will be all ready to go. There's only one problem, though. Just a couple of seconds before the show started today, one of the kids, I'm not sure which one it was, uh, set the fire alarm off with his nose. Nah, can't work out which one it was. But his face rings a bell, and this is the fun house! <laughs> now it's time to meet the cheerleaders who cheer and shake better than any others. Mind you, they're the only two we've got. Melanie and Martina! Yeah! Hello, Pat, am I shaking enough this week? Oh, I think you've done the trick, girls. Bring on the players, quick! <laughs> Everybody, Hello. how are you all? Hi. What a bunch of friendly looking people we've got this week. <laughs> Who do you have, Marty? I have Kelly and Alex from Colwyn Bay, and they both attend the area's high school. Yeah! And Mel, hello. Hello, Pat. Hello. Who do you hello. have? I have Verity and Stephen, and they're from New Newton Abbott, and they attend the Knowles Hill School. Yeah! yeah. So basically, we've got the Colwyn Bay kids against the Newton Abbott Nutters, I think. That's what we'll label you before we start. Hello, Kelly. Hi. How are you? Okay, thanks. Nick's name, Kel, and favourite thing, chocolate gatto. Yeah. You will get messy today. <laughs> Hi, Alex, you all right? Yep. Good to see you. Okay, Stephen Loder, nicknamed Skoda. That's good, isn't it? Do you know, I once went to a breaker's yard and asked for a rear wiper for a Skoda, and they said, yeah, seems like a fair swap. Anyway, it's nice to see you here. Hi, Verity, you all right? Okay, thanks. Good, good. What about your hobbies? What do you like doing, Verity? I like roller hockey and I like playing any sport, but I really like going on holiday. Oh, don't we all, yeah. <laughs> well, you never know, there's lots of holidays up for grabs in the Funhouse. There's the big power prize, and it's in there somewhere hidden away. We'll find out more later, but we welcome all our Funhouse players today! Yeah! If you've just joined us, what on earth kept you? Here's the rules you need to know. Three fun-filled games, each one worth 25 points to the winning team. We bring you guys back here, ask a question, you hit the buzzer. If you get it right, it's an easier 25 points without getting gunchy. Fun Car Grand Prix, into the fun house, perhaps for the power prize and the holiday you're after. And I know that Verity and Kelly have very pretty hair. It's far too long. Yours is very long, just, just behind here, so I'll just prove the point. Now, we're going to make a mess of that hair, and we're going to invite you to pop the corn. Let's do it! Yeah! Now listen, deathly hush here, listen. Oh. <laughs> now it's not me, it's this. This is a uh, foot, as you can see, big foot, and these are corns. This guy's got a terrible problem. Basically, you guys are going to have to burst the corns a little bit like this. Oh, oh, I can't believe that didn't work. Hold on, let's do it a bit. You know why it didn't work? It wasn't near enough for you. Ah, that works. <laughs> we actually planned that, you see. Well, that's a good start. That's only about a fifth as messy as you're going to get. These corns have got to be burst with you crawling under here and being careful of what dribbles on you and also what's already on the ground. Then you have to go along here and pick up a corn plaster to repair the damage. You come along here, you dip that in the gunge. After the dipping, you place it over your head. It'll look a little bit worse than this because it'll be very messy, OK? So, pop that corn. Pop corn like you've never known it before in 60 seconds. On your marks. Get set. Oh, go!
done, girls. Congratulations. You were all just, just, hold on, just move. Oh, just, oh you were all just move. <laughs> just fantastic. We're going to add up the red ones first because I know that Sister Mel isn't very good at counting and they don't look too many on there. Good luck. <laughs> good luck, Mel. See we got one. Yeah. Two. Ah, oh, brilliant, eh? Yeah. Blondes have more brains. Now, what about you? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. <laughs> Yellow points. We run the fun. promised, Kelly's hair now in a little bit of a state. Yes, very fine texture there. Excellent. And as for Verity, very interesting. Rather you than me. But either way, 25 points to the yellows. Yeah! So the Colwyn Bay kids are in the lead over the Newton Abbott Nutters, but they get a chance to catch up. Boys question now. Stand by to hit the buzzer. See if you can get this right. Which country produces the most corn every year? Is it... China or America? <laughs> Reds. China. Like to have a guess? No. <laughs> America's right. You got it wrong, yeah! so yellow get the points. Okay, so on the scoreboard now, nil to the Reds, 50. Yellow's in the lead. Yeah! So Alex had a 50-50 chance, and the yellows have got himself 50 points, as I say. That puts him in the lead. Let's go and play flip and fry. Game two for everybody. Yeah! Now, this is quite serious, because I do like the odd chip about this with time of day. It's really good. But the, um, the Funhouse chips, if you have a look at these, are not really a patch on the chips that we're going to be using, because these are a lot bigger, and they're also covered in guns. Now, to win this game, you've got to be a chip off the old block, I tell you. What you're going to have to do, get one of these big chips, come over here, dip it... Right, oh, I'll show you with my chip. There you go. Dip it inside there, which is mustard. Look. Yeah. You've got ketchup over there on the red side, followed by vinegar. Yeah. Followed by salt. You can make it a salt on that one, you'll be okay. Then you, get, then you just... Uh, oh, I can't believe what I'm standing in already. Then you throw your chip mm, all the way over this side, and it lands in here. You cannot catch them, okay? It's most important now. You can move your carton around like this, but you can't use your hands, okay? And I don't know if Stephen can play this, because you're a bit too tall, and it's only for small fries. Anyway, 60 seconds. On your marks, get set, go! Yeah. You sure it went in, Stephen? No. <laughs> oh, look, you've been overruled by your chip. Oh, go on, <laughs> go give him that one. Go on. <laughs> he made a dive. I thought it was good. Yeah, should we give him that one, everybody? Yeah! Yeah, yeah see, Mr. Funhouse overrules the cheerleaders. All right. <laughs> I've still got my chip. <laughs> right, how many have we got then, Marty? Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> how many have you got? We got one. <laughs> <laughs> Two, <laughs> three, <laughs> three. <laughs> three. Yeah. Let's rehip the chips. Come on. Yeah. Colwyn Bay kids, twenty-five points. Well done, yellows. Yeah. Definitely double trouble that game. That's what Mel will be in later on for doing my hair in as well. Never mind. Here's a question for the girls, also worth 25 points. See if you can get this right. In which continent did the potato originate? <coughs> yes? America. Yeah! Well yeah! done! <laughs> nice one, Verity. 25 points. The first score on the doors for the Reds. Now 25, but still in the lead with 75. The yellow team. Yeah! 
So, just ahead of the Fun Cart Grand Prix, it is time for Game 3, Slimed and Sealed. To the circus we go! Come on! <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir. Roll up, roll up. <sighs> oh, sorry, I was just rolling up. Right, we are the uh, official Funhouse Circus. I am the ringmaster, and it's my job here to show you the proceedings on today's show. Now, uh, oh, we've got sawdust in the middle, all sorts of things. You're going to be a little tiger later on, aren't you, Martina? So, <laughs> all you're doing is dressing them up as sealed, hence slimed and sealed. You performing seals are going to go through these, like this, and then through the next one, and so on and so forth, as far as you can go. There might be a bit of a crash here as the reds and the yellows meet. I can hardly see this hat's almost too big for my big head. But uh, basically, you've got to see how many tires you can go through. Do keep going, even if it means going through the reds and going through the yellows, vice versa. Inside, 60 seconds. A key game as well, which means the runners-up will be getting points. I think I've all slimed up. It seems to be sealed and perfectly delivered. I'm yours. Go! game that one was, eh? Fantastic. Now, look at the mess. Just don't move. I just want to see something here. Let Let's get a close-up of your eyeball here. You're right in there. Just about. Good. Well done. Congratulations to both of you. You look brilliant. Now, you can get him up and look after your teams. Let's have the good news here on the points. I know you're trying to work out from the adjudicators <laughs> whether or not half a seal counts or not. So, let's see what's happened. We managed to get 11! <laughs> and little Miss Speckled Dot, how many do you get? We got ten! Yellow points! We run the fun! Yeah! In the tradition of New Fun House, that was messier than ever. Key game, ten points to the Reds, but for winning it, twenty-five to the Yellow! We have a question now for the girls, so stand by for this. Kiss could uh, get the reds a little bit closer, maybe, or perhaps put the yellows further into the lead. We'll see. What name do circus people give to the huge tent in which a circus is staged? <laughs> reds. Big Top. Big Top is right. Well done. Well yeah! caught up. So, now that's a bit closer. 60 reds still in the lead. Yellows, 100. <laughs> And it's that time again, so let's bring on the carts for the Fun Cart Grand Prix! Yeah! Yes, 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 we are all set for the Fun Cart Grand Prix. Everybody's got their helmets all sorted out now and all raring to go. This is what they're after, OK? If you've never seen this before, the go-karts go round, go you have to grab these from the grabbing hands on the first lap. They're worth 10 points a go. On the second lap, you grab these ones. They're worth 25 points a grab, OK? And on the third lap, you guys do nothing except go for the checker flag. You're right in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who's going first? Me, Pat. Me, Pat. Okay, so we know who's off. We know what we got to do. Let's do it. You guys ready to cheer? Yeah. Good. Yeah, we can't do all graphs now. You have to wait a second. All right. <laughs> These guys never stop. Red 60, yellows 100. On your marks, get set, go.
points. 25 points to the Calvin Bay kids. Well done, Yellows. We better uh, check a flag, check the scores, and see how we get on here. Ooh. I bet these are worth 10, aren't they? We always do these first, and it's the 10 that's written on it that really gives it away. Here we go. A bit late, champs. A bit late. Come on. Good, good. We've got them today. There's 40 more to add to your score, and here are the big 25s that you got on your second lap. Like that. Total score for the Reds is 150. Yeah! Yellows, just a couple of tens here. But we have some... Uh, are these turquoise, are they? Yes. I'm a bit colorblind. They're worth 25 because it's written on it. Yellow score 220. You're going into the front house! Verity and Stephen, well played. It was good fun, wasn't it? Yep. He's yep. got his eye on this. You want this. It is yours. It's even better the right way up. Congratulations. <laughs> You'll get one of those each. And also, you will get the jacket that Mel is wanting. Have a look at the back of this with the Funhouse logo. Look at that. That is all yours, OK? Well played. Thanks for coming. And say hello to Newton Abbott, OK? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> OK, guys, the good news is you are going into the Funhouse in just a couple of seconds' time. We want to find out exactly what's in there, don't we? Yeah. Should we get Gary to tell us? Yeah. Go on, Gary, and you guys, come and join us! Yeah! Flurry through the flying fox and skid upon a skateboard. Flash past the fireman's pole and find a director's chair. Buzz the buzzer bay and vibe with the video tokens. Study the tumbling tube and flick through the foreign dictionaries. A tennis racket's an ace of a prize in the net ladder. Swim around the fish bowls and try on a trendy tracksuit. A burger party's yours if you bolt down the bobsleigh. Maneuver the motor mouths and plan a plane flight. I spy a microscope buried in the balloon tunnel. Calculate the slip and slide and make a classy math set. Trip through the test of strength and glimpse a pair of binoculars. Meander through the monster maze and make off with a mystery tour. Deep within the danger net, plug a personal CD. Squash down the skelter belter and join a local sports club. Click, and there's a camera caught in the wacky wild slide. A fair old sharp selection, I think I'm right in saying. Some good prizes there. Yeah. What are you going to be going for, Al? CD player. Yeah, what about you, Cal? Skateboard and everything else. Everything else. And perhaps the power prize as well. Now, details on the power prize. This is an example computer console. There's 15 price tags hidden inside our fun house that look like this. One of them contains details of the secret power prize. And Gary has those details for us now. Sample life on the ocean wave aboard the world's favorite ocean cruiser, the QE2. Going on the QE2? You old poser, I've only got a rubber dinghy. I can't believe that. That is brilliant. Now, let's those at home have a look and see where it is. Go. So now everybody at home knows where it is. I know where it is, because I've been told, but you guys don't. The only way you'll find out is when you grab a tag that goes... <laughs> and then you'll be all set. More or less, you do have to answer a question which uh, Mel will bring on, courtesy of the red team who are runners up today. So stand by, who's going first? Yeah. Okay, feet on the steps there. I wish you all the luck in the world, okay? Get one foot on the ground, actually. One foot on the ground, one foot on the steps. You have two minutes, you've got 15 of these. It's three from you, high five, back down, three from you, high five, back down, as many as you can get in the two minutes. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs>
there's no point in going back. You're right. You're running out of time. Congratulations. Come on down. Alex, you're a star. How many runs did you make? Two, did you? Yeah. Well done. Look at all these. Now, remember, when we show these, OK, you do get two each. No, one, one each. each. <laughs> well, you can have two each and give me a Martina one, can't you? Here we go. First of all, you've definitely got yourselves a burger party each. Woo! You've definitely got a math set each. Woo! A plane flight each. Woo! That's not as good as it sounds, actually, because it's only a plane flight. Uh, the sports club membership, you get that each, which is good. Woo! So you can get fit, not fat. A director's chair. Woo! You can sit down like Simon is now directing the show. Uh, a skateboard each as well. Woo! A tennis racket each. Woo! A tracksuit each. Woo! And a personal CD player each. Woo! Just the one you wanted. Wow, I've never heard so many eaches, have you? I did hear another thing as well. I got Loo. You got the power prize token. Bring it on! <laughs> This is it. OK, get ready. This is where you get a chance to confer. You've seen this happen on the telly. You never thought it would be you, did you? So get your heads nice and close together, OK? I'll just hang out in the middle here. You have ten seconds to think about your answer and give me the answer as well, OK? First answer I must accept. Here we go. This is for the big prize. Several sports can be played using a racket. Can you name three of the sports? Tennis, badminton, cricket. I'm sorry. You're wrong. Cricket is not the right answer. No, you can have tennis and badminton, but you cannot have cricket, because, as you know, that is definitely not a racket. That is a bat. So you should have thought and had a couple more seconds because you had time left. I'm sorry about that. That's the way it goes, but I did warn you. Anyway, all this stuff on the floor is yours. You had a good time? Yes. He's going to go beat her up now, I tell you. <laughs> anyway, congratulations. Well played. You were Colwyn Bay's biggest superstars. Well done, kids. See you soon on the Fun House! <laughs> warmed up for American Ninja Warrior tonight at 8. Can you handle watching the challenges on this spectacular course?